Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome to all the new foods I got to try in December. Now, there are two things missing from this video, and those are products that I posted in a separate video I can link down below. That's the new vegan Laughing Cow cheese, and also the vegan cream cheese made by the same brand. But other than that, this is a compilation of all the new vegan foods I got to try in December of 2022, the last one of the year. I hope this helps you know what to buy, what not to buy, and if you have any requests for the next month, then just leave them in the comment section down below. But without further ado, here's what I thought of all the new things I got to try this month. I've had this in my possession for a little while, but I've been too scared to do a taste test because I'm convinced that all like coffee concentrates taste bad, but I'm just gonna do it. This is Pop and Bottle Vanilla Coffee Super Concentrate. Basically, you put a couple tablespoons of this in a liquid of choice to make things. So, I followed the instructions to make an iced coffee. I put a tablespoon and a half of concentrate into six ounces of cold water. I'm gonna try it with and without creamer and we'll see if it's any good. Cause if it's good, then like how convenient, right? So let's give it a chance. This is how it looks like in six ounces of cold water with no creamer, just two ice cubes. You know, it has a little bit of the sour taste that I was scared of, but not as bad as it could be. Let's add one tablespoon of creamer. One tablespoon of creamer and it looks too milky. That being said, I usually put two tablespoons of creamer. So that's kind of sad, but. That is so gross. It's like sour, watery creamer. No, did I do it wrong? It's not good. And I don't even want this to reflect badly on the concentrate company because maybe I just hate coffee concentrate. I've tried the one from Trader Joe's and I didn't like that one either. Maybe I just don't like it. Maybe it's just not for me. Maybe. Sorry guys, bye. Hi, I'm in my car. I don't usually shoot here, but it's the most convenient for me right now. And we're gonna be doing kind of like a taste test. I've had a couple of these before. Of Lagusta's Luscious Chocolates. Lagusta's is a New York City, New York State kind of sweetheart. They make fully vegan chocolates and like, just like little chocolatey sweets. Is she a chocolatier? I think she counts as a chocolatier. Anyway, so uh, disclaimer, they did send me these chocolates, but also I've bought chocolates from them in the past. So I have spent my hard earned money there. I've bought gifts for clients for places I've worked for from Lagusta's Luscious. So I've had a good experience with them. We have three things to look at today. The first one is their 15 piece assortment. Now I'm not gonna eat 15 pieces of chocolate right now. I'm just gonna nibble on some of the most interesting looking ones, okay? Apple caramel with pecans, cashew lemon cardamom, cardamom caramel, cinnamon caramel, cranberry orange caramel, oh, that one, mm-hmm. Milk chocolate, peppermint patty, rosemary sea salt caramel, white chocolate, tahini melt away, peanut butter cup. This sounds delicious. And uh, I did eat one of them when I first got the box, so please forgive my excitement. This is what they look like, aren't they cute? Of all the things I read to you, I'm gonna try like my top three most interesting sounding. Uh, one of them was definitely the cranberry orange caramel. I love like orange chocolate, so mm, I think that is this. This one right here. It's been in my car, so the caramel is cold. Mm, I love orange chocolate. Mm. Wait, it tastes like those little orange chocolates, but tart, like cranberry. Oh my god. Okay, the more I eat it, it tastes like I'm eating dried cranberries. So it starts out, oh my god, it's so good. It starts out tasting like orange chocolate, and then the inside is tart like cranberry. So maybe the outside is where the orange flavor is, and the inside is where the cranberry flavor is. I love that. That was so good. Okay. Nine out of ten, but only if you like tart things, okay? If you don't like tart things, you won't like it. Uh, next up is peppermint patty. I know that doesn't sound that exciting, but I really like peppermint and chocolate, so. 
Mmm. Yeah. Basic, but good. Eight out of ten. The last thing that intrigued me was a tiny melt away. It looks basic, but we'll look inside it once I take a bite. Mmm. Okay. I have feedback for this one. I wish the tiny taste was stronger. I wish you bit into it and it tasted straight like halewi. Um, but other than that, pretty good. Delicious. I think if you bought this as a gift for someone, like a holiday treat, you can't go wrong. But I do have two other things to try. I feel bad opening this. Like, I feel like it's so beautiful, but this is peppermint bark. I'm telling you, a real chocolate artist, she is. I've seen some of her other like bars too, and I've never bought them because I was, they're just so beautiful. I didn't want to like ruin them. But now we have that opportunity. How cute. Mm. It would not hurt if they made it even more pepperminty. Lastly, and probably most interestingly, we have this Earl Grey bar. Now, Earl Grey is a tea. A tea bar? I'm curious. Looks like chocolate with flowers on it. Ooh, oh! That's yummy. Look. Earl Grey caramel on the inside. Genius lady. This might be my favorite. That tart cranberry orange chocolate was also really good. So all together, delicious. Good job. She has a store in New York that she shares with confectionery. Like it's baked goods and her chocolate. And I think she has, don't quote me on this one, but a store in upstate New York too. I think so. But you can also order her stuff online. So I can put her website in the description if you want to check her out online. Um, but that's all. Goodbye. A little review of a little, I don't know why this soup is so low calorie, okay? Like I know sometimes you want like a low calorie thing, but this soup is 70 calories, which means it's not even gonna fill you a little bit. So why does it, why does it exist? Is it just like a little warm thing to drink? Explain that. Either way, we're gonna review it because I got it for free at a expo a few months ago and I've just been waiting for the right time to have time to review it, so we're going to. It's called Oh So Tasty Soup. I actually have two flavors. This one is Sizzling Sesame. I thought there might be noodles, but these are not noodles. These are like, I don't know, this is drinkable. This doesn't need any sort of utensil, honestly. Yeah. It's a little too like vinegary for my taste, I think, but we'll go again. I just burnt myself a little bit. There's no real depth of flavor, which I should be able to tell from the soup being 70 calories. But miso soup is also low calorie and miso soup has depth of flavor, so I don't know. Meh, meh, meh. I mean, maybe I'll drink the rest of it, but don't run out to purchase. I stirred it, so it has more flavor now. I think some of the flavor sank to the bottom. Um, so I'll say it tastes better now, a little more rich tasting. But I don't know, like maybe it went up like a point and a half in my book, but it's still not, like, not something I'd buy, I guess. The floating sesame seeds is probably the weirdest part. This is an exciting review. Today we're gonna to be able to check out these new wings from Blackbird. Blackbird does amazing frozen pizzas, like delicious frozen pizzas. Um, but they just came out with wings. Two flavors, I think one is like Korean barbecue, that one's in my freezer, we could try it later. And then this one is uh, spicy and tangy classic buffalo. I've made four pieces, and I think you're supposed to toss them in the sauce, but since I'm not making the whole bag, I decided I'm gonna dip them in the sauce for the taste test. The ingredients is seitan, the protein is high, and without the sauce, they look like this. Honestly, looks like a chicken tender, and oh, almost built it. This is the sauce that comes with it. I'm excited. Hmm? 
Well, the sauce tastes like Frank's Red Hot. The wing, it tastes like a seitan wing. It looks a lot like their regular seitan, just like breaded. Okay, it was easy to make. I baked it for like 10 minutes. The outside is crispy. The inside is soft. There's no shreddy texture like in chicken, but it's still pretty good. I would get it again. It doesn't feel too oily. It's just a good, solid, basic seitan wing. I like it. This is an interesting taste test, number one, because it's part of that new like animal-free dairy stuff that's coming out. But number two, because I never liked drinking milk. So even if this tastes like milk, I probably won't like it. But I'm still so curious about it that we're gonna do a little taste test. This brand is called Bored Cow. There's a couple different brands that have been doing this new animal-free, like, whey dairy milk. This is probably one of the cooler ones, you know, cool packaging, very hip, very fresh. And we have vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. The fact that they are flavored means that there's, like, a higher chance I'm gonna like it. Let's just, let's just dive in. Actually, no, let's not dive in. Let's go over it a little bit. So we're looking at about 150 calories for the drink and 10 grams of protein. If you're allergic to milk, you cannot have this because this has milk protein in it. However, if you are allergic to lactose specifically, I believe these are lactose free. Yep, lactose free. And they have calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin B12. If you're interested to learn about animal free dairy, go to this company's website, Perfect Day. Perfect Day has been like the leader in all of this. They're the ones making the animal free dairy and then brands like Brave Robot or Bored Cow, very interesting names, are the ones turning them into foods. Oh my God, these still make me nervous, these animal free stuff. <sighs> oh, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, there's a milk aftertaste. I don't like milk. <laughs> I never drank milk growing up. So like the first sip is like, mmm, like sweet vanilla. And then it tastes like milk. And I don't like milk. So like, I guess this is exactly what they wanted this to taste like. But I'm just not a milk drinker. Like I grew up like Arab, like I'm Arab. We don't drink milk like that. We eat a ton of cheese, but we don't drink milk like Americans really do. This one is strawberry. Oh, so good. Less of a milky aftertaste. So that's good. I think because the strawberry taste is stronger than vanilla. So this one's better just because it tastes less like milk. <laughs> and then I saved the one I think I'll like the best for last. This one tastes like, um, like vanilla milk. Like it tastes like vanilla milk. I don't know how else to describe it. And then this one is chocolate. I don't know if it's gonna taste like Nesquik or anything, you know, but let's go for it. It does. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, okay, here are my thoughts. Pretty cool. I love seeing science do science things. Uh, that being said, I'm not a milk drinker. So I, I, I probably won't buy these, but if you're a milk drinker and you're interested, like check them out. I can't wait till they come out with all the good cheeses. That's what I'm waiting for. We're taste testing a lasagna and I have a feeling that it's going to be good because it smells delicious. Rooted Vegan Cuisine does ready-made frozen meals. They sent me a lasagna, some mozzarella sticks, and also like a, I think it was a broccoli cheddar soup. So I made this in the oven. It does take like a little over an hour to bake, but it's bubbly and it looks delicious. Let me grab it. I need mitts. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, it smells delicious. I'm literally going to just take a fork and go straight into it. This is gonna be hot. Can you tell I got like a warm light bulb on accident? I look so yellow. Ooh, this is boily. Ooh, it looks so cheesy. Okay, I really don't feel like scalding the roof of my mouth right now, so we're gonna give this a second. Let's read the box. Ingredients, 
eggplant, onion, celery, mushrooms, soy protein, tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, carrots, vegetable broth, balsamic vinegar, seasoning blend, oat milk, gluten-free flour. Huh, is this whole thing gluten-free? It is! Why didn't I notice that earlier? It's gluten-free! That's cool. Let's go for it. Okay, it's still kind of hot. Mmm! It's a tad vegetable-y, but there's literally vegetables in this lasagna. It's creamy. The pasta is tender. So this serves four people. And each serving has 30 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. I think I'm a fan. Not enough of a fan to burn my tongue. Yummy vegetable lasagna. So like if you don't have time to cook, like this could feed a small family. You'd need a side though. I'd make some veggies for the side or something, a little side salad or a little bread or something. I see it. Mm. We are tasted testing some mozzarella sticks. This is from the same brand that had the lasagna that we tried earlier. And these mozzarella sticks are oil-free, gluten-free, and soy-free, which is kind of crazy. I eat all three of those things, oil, soy, and gluten. But for those of you who can't, you know, these might be a good idea. So I heated some up in my oven. I heated up three of them. Um, the breading took longer than I thought to get brown, and then as soon as it got brown, they exploded a little bit. But like literally a minute before they turned brown, they weren't brown. So like, as soon as they turned brown, they exploded. So I don't know what I was supposed to do, what I did wrong, but I baked it at the correct temperature for a little bit longer than they said, just because after 10 to 12 minutes, it was still white. I don't know what I did wrong, but hopefully it doesn't affect the flavor. See what I mean by exploded a little bit? Just see opened up. Now I'm, I'm not expecting cheese stretch. There's no way oil-free, soy-free, gluten-free has cheese stretch, but we'll try it anyway. You know, a little bit, got a little, a little bit in there. Cheers. You know, that's kind of yummy. Tastes like seasoned breadcrumbs with a ooey gooey middle. Tastes kind of like the Italian seasoning on the outside part of a chicken cutlet. It doesn't taste like a mozzarella stick. I want to say it tastes like a shell of bread with ooeyness in the middle, but that sounds like a mozzarella stick. But like, it's a different texture than usual. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's the gluten-freeness of it. But it's yummy. The cheese tastes like cashews and nutritional yeast. But that's not a bad thing. I think while it doesn't taste like a typical mozzarella stick, it does taste like a good little crunchy, creamy snack, you know? I'd say give it a try. It's pretty good. I'm at work doing inventory, but I had a bar that I grabbed from this grocery store the other day. It looked intriguing. I'd never tried it before. One plant chocolate peanut butter flavor protein bar. 12 grams of protein and 180 calories. That's not bad protein wise, especially for a vegan bar. It looks like their protein source is pea protein, rice protein, peanut flour, almond protein. Taste to, ooh, it looks good. At least like, you know, the initial impressions. It looks chocolatey. Cheers. I used to have a bar like this a long time ago. It's actually really good. It tastes like a chewy, flattened Reese's peanut butter cup. Good job. Good job, this is good. That is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you, I don't know, found some new things that you wanted to try or knew what to avoid this month. I really enjoy making these, so thanks for watching. Goodbye! Wait, what? No, I... Listen, I haven't had breakfast yet. My line is, like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, where I post every single day, I put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye! 
shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there, and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!